Class is in session at John Adams Middle School. But not all students are in the classroom. So the, the sixth graders were going to distant learning. Meaning 12 year olds like Hannah Larson. It's like going to school, but like at home. We'll learn at the kitchen table for the next two weeks. It's just obviously showing that COVID isn't <laughs> Definitely not over. Rochester Public Schools says its policy is to switch to virtual learning when 50% of a class is sick or needing to quarantine due to COVID-19. There's like 12 or 13 people left in the class. We just have crazy high COVID rates in the community right now, and so we can't expect our schools to be completely exempt from that. According to Pakel, John Adams hit 47% Friday. 50% is not a magic number. We were at a point where it's safest for the kids to just make that move to full distance learning. And we did that with the full agreement of the teachers and the school leadership. Now, sixth graders here at John Adams Middle School aren't the only students who've had to switch to distance learning in the last week. This is really the first time we've seen it really being passed from student to student as it was in this classroom. A class at Byron Intermediate is also learning from home this week after a singular classroom hit a 5% positivity rate. I don't want to cause up any, any huge alarms. Schools across the state are facing this and it's all part of our practice and our policy was when they get to this number, here's what we're doing. Questions? While distance learning may be less foreign. So much easier. <laughs> it was really hard last year. It definitely shows that, I mean, the vaccines aren't 100%, but they're definitely helping compared to like last year. The message from educators is clear. The sooner we can get to very high rates of vaccination, the better off we'll be. Now, John Adams students will be back in the classroom on November 29th. As for Byron Intermediate students, they'll be back in person November 22nd. And another COVID note, elementary students and staff in Chatfield are now required to wear masks. That mitigation effort started this week because they hit a 3% positivity rate. Reporting live in Rochester, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.